What you working on? I'm making a blanket. Nice. What'd we bring to drink? Drinks are in the fridge. Electricity is a necessity. Whether for RVing and camping, traveling, or close to home. A portable power source is a great convenience, and for van travel, an absolute must. There are all-in-one systems like Jackery, Blue Eddy, and others. Alternatively, you can build your own. I chose to do just that because I like the idea of things being modular so that if one component breaks, I can replace it. Scaling the size of a system depends on the power draw necessary to power any accessories you're trying to operate, like lights and fans and other things. I went with a 100 amp hour battery, 200 watts of solar panels on the roof, a 20 amp charge controller, and a 600 watt AC inverter. Pre-made units can range in price from anywhere to a couple hundred bucks to many hundred bucks. For example, the Jackery 1000 runs anywhere from 700 to 900 or a thousand dollars depending on whether it's on sale or not. That boasts 1002 watt hours which is approximately 85 amp hours at 12 volts. This setup I made costs approximately six hundred and fifty dollars. Of course I had to build it. My battery is a lithium iron phosphate not lithium ion. Expandability is easy. The charge controller can be changed out if I want to add more solar panels, and I could put in a bigger inverter if I add more batteries. Most RVs or vans have these installed permanently. I made mine totally removable in a milk crate. I transfer it to this camp shed or for emergency backup power at home. Traveling in a van is made much easier with having access to power to power all my accessories and two ways to recharge the battery. Links are below for most of the items I used in this build. So here's the nuts and bolts of the operation. Negative battery terminal to this goes to the USB outlet. This switch panel to run all the switches and directly to each of two 12 volt outlets here, positive to this main that goes to each circuit, each one has a fuse, and then I have a direct one to an Anderson connector for plug-in charging. This switch runs a USB out dual outlet. This is a night light voltage meter one switch for a 12 volt outlet here that goes to a f some portable fans another 12 volt outlet here that goes through this speed control for the vent line van air ceiling fan and there is a direct line to this that plugs into all the lights in the van and a direct line separately fused to this 12 volt outlet that goes directly to the 12 volt fridge. I also have the option to plug in this gas alarm mounted inside so that if we're using any propane or anything I can 
plug that into a 12 volt outlet and we have a gas alarm near the floor. This is the controller. It's a 20 amp MPPT controller. This is the main battery switch that turns the battery on to the controller. And this is a breaker that turns on the panels on the roof into the controller as well. Always turn the battery on first, connect your battery first, and then the panels. I can plug that directly into the inverter with an Anderson connector. Normally it's connected to the van battery so I can use it while I'm driving without draining the extra battery. And I can plug that inverter into this portable system at any time. I rarely do. All wiring for the ceiling fan and lights come out here and are just, and the panels, solar panels on the roof, and are just plug and play into the battery box. If by chance there's shore power available, I have a plug on the outside that powers this one outlet. So I could charge the battery from shore power at a campsite and I carry this isobar trip light that plugs into here and this tells you whether your incoming power is correctly grounded or not. Basically if you've got clean power or dirty power and if it's really bad this has a breaker in it that will trip so that you can't ruin anything using terrible campsite power. So reconnect all the wires behind here, slide it in. I've got a clip that holds it in the back and a wing nut holds this clip down to keep it in place. It's up against the seat, nice and tight. Still have room for the toilet next to it. And you turn on the battery power to the controller and then you would turn on your panels and that should start charging. Panels are giving me not too much because I'm in the shade really. 18 volts, half an amp. This is going to give you your battery status as well. Temperature, percentage charge, how many volts. And that's pretty much the system. Now you might think this is a weird shape, right? But this is custom fit for the space in the van to fit behind this inverter and so that I can still recline the driver's seat back into this space so it clears the seat clears the top of this box yes electricity is a necessity especially for a happy marriage thanks for watching and get out there